your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. With the 24-hour emergency order in place, residents are being encouraged to stay at home in hopes of minimizing the spread of COVID-19. Tonight, you will hear how a new online platform will allow residents to shop at their favorite food stores with just a click of a button and have their items delivered to them within hours. Here's how it works. At a time when the country has been placed on a 24-hour curfew, there are many who still find themselves reluctantly going to the store to pick up food items. But the Prime Minister and the Minister of Finance have talked about using delivery services at this time to minimize the amount of persons on the streets, as well as mass gatherings at the local food stores. Shopee, a new delivery company, is excited about its new online platform that allows residents to shop with just the click of a button. Chief Operating Officer of Paracom and Shopee explains. First things first, you must be equipped with a credit card, a debit card, or a PayPal account. Once you are, because Shopee do not take cash, right? So once you have those um, requirements, you just simply join our app, download the app, um, go online, shop. Be, like I say, we have competitive prices with the local market, so we're not picking our prices because we know what's going on. We're charging them basically the same. Um, once you shop, um, you send, you put your credit card information on, um, it goes through, it automatically, it automatically sends you a, 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 a code, you click on you click on a link, the link will show you who will be your driver. So the platform changes from online shopping to Uber driver. So you can actually see the person who, who will be um, coming to bring your grocery. You can actually, you can also see their direction, um, where they are on the GPS platform. And he says, within hours, your items are delivered. Honestly, the longest a person might have to wait is two hours, two hours the most. And keep in mind, if you stand on a long line, you're spending three to four hours in the hot sun, hoping that you get in the food store. Whereas with us, you come you come on the platform, we, we deliver the groceries in quick time. The most, the most, the longest a person may have the way is two hours. And then it's according to how much deliveries we have in that one day. Uh, what's the price of a service like this? Bar contends that shoppers have no need to worry as the network is secured and their drivers have been properly vetted. Even with, 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 with the online platform and with the guys, the guys who are working for Shopee was properly vetted. Um, so, so it is a no job blow at night who is actually um, working, working and delivering your, your, um, your groceries. We did a proper vetting screening. We did all the necessary police record. We making sure that these persons, most of the persons have a job already. But due to the fact that they are unemployed right now, they are willing to um, um, assist us. Now, some of the drivers were using, we're using like persons cab drivers right now, one or two cab drivers who is in the customer service arena who knows knows the importance of customer service and they, they, they actually delivering the, the groceries in a timely fashion. But he says a shoppy does come with some very small limitations. We're not charging the elderly, we're not charging the widows, we're not charging the the, the home for um, children's home, anyone who or the orphanage, we're not charging them. We're, we're delivering for free so if you know any elderly person who might have challenges with driving their vehicles or not having any transportation to, the, to come to the food store we're actually um catering to them they can just go to, um join our app we go anywhere from east to west west to north, north, north to south five for five dollars now right now we still now keep in mind we do have a max we do have a max and we do have a men now if, if you live in western and Edmond if you don't expect us to come with on there a lady came tell us the other day she she want to buy a seedless cream for dollar twenty five was for one forty. You don't expect us to ride way on Deadman Street just to drop off a bike of seedless grape the um the the, the customer. Done and then so we try to encourage poison to spend at least fifty dollars or more um before we decide to say move or drop off the items. The news from the crime beat, a male is left with non-life-threatening injuries following a shooting incident last night. Reports are that shortly after 10 p.m., police received a report of gunshots being fired in the West End community. Officers responded and met a man who told them that while walking in the area of West End Primary School, an unknown male approached him, produced a handgun, and fired several shots in his direction. 
hitting him in the hand. He then ran to a nearby home. EMS personnel were called to the scene and rendered medical assistance. Police are actively investigating this matter. And that's a look at stories making news. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.